round three of our liar showcase. This time against Jail, who... New name, haven't seen him before. Maybe he's good, I don't know. Could be. Maybe he's just using this vanilla striker as a way to kind of throw off his uh, fucking competition. Lol. His opponent into a false sense of security with that unadorned striker and Bucky loadout. Game starts. Liar defusing those neutral mines. Giving some uh, thought to the future and decides to slot that moneymaker. Now, Jail getting a little, getting in a little close with those buckies. Liar hits the ground, goes to work on that fucking um, Longhorn, but unable to take it out. <laughs> Jail with the heel up on it, gets his heel on that Bucky too. Now this is what I like. He's doing it right, putting this, putting the glass cannon behind a wall of Longhornage. So I like the moxie on this kid. Meanwhile, Liar going with a bit more of a straightforward approach with Longhorns and Ratchets augmenting them or healing them up. Jail with a uh, Seeker Bucky combination and Lie takes some damage from it but does get away. Whoa. Liar just got a bomb dropped on his ass. And as a result, the mass up that he had going is no more. Only the tattered remains strewn across the battlefield serve as a reminder of what happens when you think you're too much of a pro as jail. Gra is that J Jal E? I'm, I'm, I'm pronouncing it jail, all right? He fucking took the central power station for the first time in the match that anyone's had it. Good for him. Jail, I believe in you. However, what I don't believe is that he realizes one of the new rules of, the, of this new bill, which is that they've sort of incorporated some V2 shit into it, where once you've captured an outpost, power station, factory, whatever, you have to wait for it to charge up, similar to the V2 rules. Um, and I think they still do V2 games, but the difference is that in regular matches, generally um, your bases charge, or your outposts charge up quicker than they do in V2. So where you had the bulbs before, like going around it, and they would make that popping sound when they got taken off. Um, here you've just got this. Liar takes a pretty good chunk out of Jail's offensive front, but not before getting a chunk taken out of himself. Jail leveling up to four. Lie, I think Liar, and I don't know how that's, if that's the correct pronunciation, but that's how I'm pronouncing it. I think that he um, probably dropped a few bucks for the instant respawn. Liar rolling in with boomers and a bomb. All oh, that seeker is in trouble. Jail. <laughs> Pulls it out of harm's way. Nice job. Uh, hopefully he'll know to do that again. He does. However, the Longhorn does not survive. I think that was a Longhorn that went down. Oh, Liar trying to go for that steal. Unable. And this is going to be bad news. That Seeker's gone. And so is the Longhorn. Liar now in. with a jackal and gets his creeps in as well and now has control of that center power seat. I really have to like <laughs> know what the hell these things are because I blank on it for like five minutes. Okay, Jail goes back to his um uh, uh, fortress. Uh, as well, he out because there's now jackals imperiling that. Fortunately, his creeps manning the turrets take those out of the equation now liar going for the steal on this and it looks like he is going to gray that out gets three lights on it there are three lights A little star trek for the kids i know you kids love your star treks 
Jail now in bad shape. Decides to push it all in. Nothing back at the base. Ooh. One of his seekers takes what I believe was a... I don't know if that was a light or a heavy mine. I should probably... Yeah, it was a light. Goes down to a jackal. That is one thing I like about the new build is that it tells you what unit killed you. So, like, when Liar gets destroyed by a neutral Longhorn, it says so right up here. <laughs> I, he's my buddy. I can make... I, I, we can give each other little ribbings. Uh, you know, we're on that level. This fucking guy, He just does not want you to have any money ever. He's like Obama, am I right? <laughs> anyway. Of course, Liar, like every pro... Thinks he's too fucking good to have base damage, and here he paid a little bit of a price for it. Not very much of one. As Jail does get a front door strike in on him. Liar looking to uh, return the favor. Except instead of going for the front door, going for that money. Look at this, he's preempted. Before this fucking guy even has his moneymaker down, Liar's there with a boomer. Nice work. Got a whole half dozen boomers queued up. You can't have money ever around this fucking guy. Not even attached to a neutral Alpo. <laughs> power station, of course. I knew it was a power station. I deliberately blanked on it because hearkening back to my earlier joke that you didn't let. Oh, liar, come on! He gets away. Well done. What a guy. So he will live to fight another day against this kid's moneymakers. Looks like we're seeing a full court press from Liar. And uh, not a great deal of defense on the blue side on behalf of Jale. And listen, what's up with these um, power bars? I'm pretty sure that they don't usually... I mean, I know they changed them up, but I think this is like a glitched... Uh, rendering of the new bars. Well, whatever. <sighs> Liar and his uh, jackal squad chew up this kid's front door. That is going to do it. And of course, he has no money makers because God forbid Liar let anybody have money makers for fucking five seconds. Good game. Maybe it was for you. All right. What a guy. I love this kid. Air mech. More later. <laughs>